Okay, so let's uh, add some Perlin noise to our flow field, and I would suggest going back and watching the the videos for these for the other Perlin noise before you do this, uh, just so you have the concept kind of at the fore of your mind. Uh, so we need to import. I'm gonna import. Actually, I don't need math. I guess uh, import Perlin, and then to get Perlin, you need three lines of code. You need import Perlin. You need sn equals Perlin dot simplex noise, and then you also need sn dot uh, what is it uh, noise two for two D Perlin or noise three for uh, three dimensional Perlin. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to copy that and uh, we'll put it down here inside of our code. So inside of our for loop we want to get a Perlin value and I'm going to pass in I and J and to uh, to get we want some kind of handle on our Perlin value uh, we want to be able to handle the scale some way and so we need to pass in a scale Perlin and uh, scale it and like in the other videos we can pass in two values I'm just gonna pass in one value for right now just because it's a little bit easier uh, so we have a point this is actually a vector and then we have our Perlin value and this returns uh, uh, an integer between uh, negative one or not an integer, a float between negative one and one so we want to get use this some way and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make uh, I'm gonna make an X x vector and I'm going to have it be 1 0 0 and then I'm going to rotate it so I'm just gonna say rotate V rotated vector and rs dot vector rotate so we pass in a vector I'm gonna pass in the x vector uh, the angle in degrees and because it's between this is between negative 1 and 1 I'm going to say uh, 360 times uh, our Perlin value so if it's 1 it's going to be positive 360 if it's uh, negative one is going to be negative 360 and it's going to fall in some range between those two and then the the axis I'm going to use the z-axis so I'm going to say 0 0 1 and um, I need to uh, what I want is I want to make a line from that goes uh, from the point uh, to the rotated vector so uh, and this is a vector so the end vector is equal to rs dot vector vector create pass in the rotated vector so here we can say add line and we're going to add the line between point and end vector so let's see what we get uh, scale P is not defined And if you recall, this works best with really small values. Okay, so we have uh, that. I'm going to take down the size and take down the resolution. 
so we can have a look at this really quick. I'm going to turn off the grid with F7. I'm actually going to make it full screen. So we have this, and the angle is based on the Perlin noise. So so that kind of that gives us uh, a starting place for our flow field and we'll do uh, we'll change this to 3D Perlin noise and uh, have one of these have this uh, instead of having just 2D we're going to do the same process for uh, the x axis so we'll have things going up and But, uh, but this gives us uh, a stepping stone into that. 